today is gardening day and we are going on, I guess, an exploration. It's more of an adventure. I'm so excited for us to start that, but first we need to welcome in the day. Are you ready? Let's go. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Yo estoy bien y tú también. Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Me, I'm fine and you are too. Good morning, how are you? How are you? But what good morning is it today? What day is gardening day? Hmm, let's take a look at the calendar. So if yesterday was science experiment day and that is always on a well, well, Wednesday, Tomorrow will be Friday. It means today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. The, ooh, there are a lot of numbers on here. Can you help me please? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Today is Thursday, July 23rd. Hoy es el jueves, el 23 de julio. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los días de la semana son siete, son siete. Los días de la semana son siete, son Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C L O U D Y cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R A I N Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, windy. Windy, windy, is it windy in the sky? W-I-N-D-Y, windy, 
Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S-N-O-W-Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what is the weather like today with you? Oh, well, here with me, it's kind of cloudy today. I think it might storm later on, so I'm going to sing about the clouds, but you choose a word that best suits your weather and we'll meet at the end of the song. Are you ready? I know a day just like today and cloudy was the weather. C-L-O-U-D-Y, C-L-O-U-D-Y, C-L-O-U-D-Y and cloudy was the weather. Well, it may be a little bit cloudy today, but that is not going to stop our adventure that we are doing in gardening today. Very simply, we are going on an adventure hunt to look up, up, under things. So all you really need is a notebook or sketchbook and a pencil or a marker, whatever it is that you would like to draw or write with. I'm going to go outside in my backyard, in my garden, and have a look. And I'm going to pick some things up. And I'm going to look underneath them. I don't know, maybe I'll find some bugs. <gasps> maybe I'll find some plants. Maybe I won't find anything. But I'm going to record, I'm going to write down what I see when I look up, up underneath what I have. Now, if you don't have a backyard or a garden, you can even do this if you go for a walk. or if you're going for a drive in the car and in your car seat, you can have a look under where you put your water bottle. You can have a look under your shoes. Ooh, what might you find there? Stinky socks or stinky feet. And you can draw or write those. Or you could do it in your house. It does not matter where you do it as long as you look under. And we are going to start making a record and learning how to take a record of what we see. Come on, let's go. Hi guys, we are outside in my garden and I wanted to take a look uh, uh, under this. <gasps> this cool pot, so let's take a look. Are you ready? Mm. What could it be? <gasps> it's a leaf. Oh wow, it's a leaf. I found a leaf. You want to take a closer look? A leaf. So I'm going to take my notepad right now. I brought my pencil out. I'm going to turn onto a new page. And I am going to draw the leaf that I can see. Let's take a little walk and see what else we can look under in the garden. What an adventure. Oh, now look here. Look what I found, guys. I found some bricks. Now, this is where we used to keep a bird bath. We still will keep a bath, but in the summertime in Charleston, it's very hot and humid, and we don't like to keep water outside because it attracts it attracts mosquitoes and we get lots of bites so we don't keep it in the summer but it's normally held down by bricks so let's take a look under the bricks and see what we can find. I wonder if there's any bugs there. Come on in and take a closer look. Can you see there's a lot of dirt down here and there's a tiny little ant crawling around. Can you see? Now what's that that we can see right in the hole there? I think it's a spider. Oh, my goodness, can you see? Yeah, move the twig out of the way. I'm trying to decide which twig it is. What is that bug? Oh, I'm going to get my notebook out and I'm going to draw what I can see. Come on, 
fun. Let's go have a look into something else. <gasps> oh, look, we've got these cool little statues in the garden. Look what we found. Should we take a look under him? Let's go. Ready? Oh, he's kind of heavy, actually. Oh. That's a girl. Let's take a closer look. Lots of dirt. I don't see any bugs in this one, but I can draw my dirt and oh, you see that? That's a piece of grass that's coming in the way there. So I'm going to draw and record what I found here. I might even get a little jar and put some of this in it and explore it inside. So I guess we didn't find anything super exciting, but I really enjoyed drawing in my notebook and writing the words and sounding them out so I could spell them of what I saw up underneath the objects I picked up. Do you know what? This afternoon I'm going to do it in my house. How about you? Let's end today with a little nursery rhyme, a bit of a silly nursery rhyme that has a uh, a uh, as a middle sound and it's called rub a dub dub rub a uh, ub a dub dub dub. Have you heard that one before? I'm from England as you guys might have noticed and it's something that we used to say as a nursery rhyme when we were younger and it goes like this. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. But who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. And they are all gone to sea. Have you heard that one before? It's a very old one. For our pranayama today, let's finish and let's imagine that we're out on our adventure hunt looking under. So we're going to breathe in as we look around and out as we go under. Ready? Breathe in and out. Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. For those of you that don't know, pranayama is a breathing ex exercise which is used regularly in yoga and it is very good, especially for children, to start off with in the morning for their minds. It opens up their minds, it calms them down and it enables them to take in, you guys, take in all of that new information in a calm and centered mind. May we have peace in our minds. May we have peace in our words. May we have peace in our hearts. May we have peace in our homes and may there be peace in the world. Thank you, my friends. I will see you tomorrow.